Okay, Solawam, Solawam. Kwam ya sa Allah, Koholwimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakaka Dash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well there by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the waters of the Akim and Aqua that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Okay, wanted to touch off, um, touch on this article, um, this U.S. Sun military. It says Iranian drones and speedboats swarm U.S. warship and force helicopters to land in chilling clash in the Strait of or, the Strait of Hormuz. It's like it from pronouncing that wrong, but this is just a, um, you know, another indicator that uh, America, Babylon the Great, is falling, man. These, these these damn Edomites are losing right now. Matter of fact, let me grab a quick scripture real quick. I can come back off into this. We'll read a little bit. But let's get this real quick. Matter of fact, already there. That's the spirit. Ecclesiasticus 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing right now. And to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You are the true Hebrew Israelites, and these nations are your enemies. The Lord clearly said in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that he would send, it, send our enemies against us, that our enemies would, would, would um, you know, capture us and, and enslave us. And, and, you know, all that comes from disobedience, being stiff hearted, being hard headed as hell, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep and repent because these are prophecies that's playing out right now. This is this is one of those major prophecies as well. Watching, um, you know, Babylon, the great fall, man, because it's going to fall. That's a part of it. So as it's falling, you know. It's going to be some some real. Crazy times that's going to come because these so-called white people, they're not going to take this land down. They, they, they already knowing that their shit is over with pretty much. And they're just going to go out fighting, trying to keep it going. And it's not going to keep going. And that's a part of the prophecies as well. So, I mean, it is what it is, but this is beautiful. And we're watching the fall of our enemies. And yeah, you're running around out here. You're calling yourself a damn American. You're, you're an enemy of the Lord, man. Y'all better wake up, man. It's high, it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Come out of those works of darkness, according to um, Romans 13 and 11 and verse 12. You know, you got to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son, man. Because we're definitely at the end of this thing, man. These prophecies are playing out so fast, man. And the Lord is, is, is visiting this planet, man. You see what's going on with all this weather? Earthquakes and, and, and diverse places and damn floods. <laughs> the Lord been putting, been, been putting some wreck time in on these, on these spots, man. All over the world. Well, let's, let's read into some of this. It says, bombshell footage <clears throat> has emerged. Of a U.S. warship being sworn by Iranian drones and speedboats, which forced the American helicopters to land. The chilling confrontation between the helicopter carrier and Iran's navy took place in the tensions heavy. Took place in the tension heavy Strait of Hormuz and the Persian Gulf recently. The U.S. Navy arrived in the Middle East last week as a part of a, a pre-announced de deployment to support deterrence efforts in the Strait of Hormuz as we have as we have been for a very long time we're coordinating with our partners in the region which when it comes to US military presence because again it's not just US military that's out there patrolling commercial shipping lanes we're working as part of a broader coalition on that effort the Air Force Press Secretary Pat Ryder said the Iran Iran's Navy released the footage on Saturday of the US Bataan warship passing through the strait accompanied by choppers. Armenian media claims that their aggressive eff efforts forced U.S. helicopters to land back on the carrier by sending warnings, drones, and speedboats. Okay? And that's, you know, you're just pretty much about it. But let's get some of these comments and check, you know, you already know Esau, how Esau get down. This person, Christopher Thompson, says, why send the military over there if you're just going to let them get pushed around? Either go over there and kick ass or leave them at home. Our military leaders are, are more worried about, what's that? Let me see. 
more worried about scheduling woke ass drag shows <laughs> and proper pronoun usage than fighting and protecting what what an embarrassment and, and america is becoming a a, a, a laughing stock man these man these these countries laughing hard as hell at america man joe biden stumbling around tripping over all the every damn thing he's you know you know fucking ah never mind man <laughs> This person says, what branch did you serve in? This person in Bear, uh, Bear Jaw Zelensky don't go at all in the in the motherfucking place. First place, it's not the Pentagon's job to do 90% of the shit it does. All our government's military industry wants is an actively pursuit of war. Well, I mean, you know, Esau, that's what they do, man. That's all he's, he's capable of. He was gifted with the sword. He was gifted with that sword. The Lord, hey, hey. <laughs> the Lord gifted Esau with the sword. So cold, man. This motherfucker could have been running around throughout the world. He runs the earth. But that's that Job 9 and 24. It says the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. When the wicked got when the wicked got more weapons than you have, you know, then you already know they're gonna get down on you. They're not gonna be fair with you. They're gonna go and take every goddamn thing that they can. You know Esau, man, they, 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 nothing is never enough for this man, man. This man is running through out of the, the whole entire damn galaxy taking shit. But anyway, oh, i get one more comment. It says, and people keep backing that chicken shit asshole we had, to, we had for commander-in-chief in D.C. All he cares about is taking his damn vacations and, and screwing the American people. It's no damn wonder that the world is laughing at us. Yeah, the whole world is laughing at you, man. But that's all, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord said he, he would laugh at you, your calamity. You know? Well, we, you know, I be giggling all the time when I be seeing some of this shit. I mean, hey, because it, that scripture says happy, <clears throat> we'll be happy, man, to see the fall of our enemies. And if you come across an Israelite, man, that's not happy to see this place go, then they not in the right spirit, man. But anyway, let me just grab another scripture or two. I'm not going to keep the lesson long. I've seen this, though, like, okay, bet. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, because nobody would have done no shit like this to America uh, uh, 20 years or so ago, you know? Let me see. Uh, yeah, Isaiah 14 and 10. Oh, they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? See, because America used to be top dog, man. Top dog, top dog. Now, <laughs> shit, America done, done, is beyond a third world country. You know, America used to be able to run around the earth with them, with them, you know, that military might and, and fuck over everybody that they, they wanted to and take whatever they wanted to. Take over lands, you know, take people's heritage. You know, scriptures talks about that too, man. This man, he's greedy as hell. He can never have enough. And now it's starting to backfire on his ass. So all them seeds that they've sown with that wickedness is starting to, you know, come back on them, man. They've done a lot of dirty, treacherous shit, man, in the earth. And these countries don't like them, no, you know. They, 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 you know, they pretty much got to deal with them, you know what I'm saying, because of that dollar. But hell, the BRICS nations, they like, man, shit, we getting, we ditching that shit. We getting rid of that damn dollar. We going we gonna to get down to do business in our own currency. And that's going to throw America really for a loop. Because, see, people back in the days, they wouldn't even try no shit like that. Even America's allies, because America do everybody dirty. They, you know, they, I mean, this place is through, man. But, but anyway, let me get this too. Um, at Matthew 24, verse 3, let me start at verse 3. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. So the disciples is asking the Lord, what's going to be popping? How are we going to know? And the Lord gave us a measuring tape, man. He gave us a measuring stick. He says to measure thou the time diligently in um, 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 1 through 4, basically. You know what I'm saying? He said, when you see, start to see these things happening, then you know that I'm visiting the, the world which I made, basically. And so our job is to go through these news stories like this because the, the scriptures also says, you know, um, be not ignorant of any matter, whether it's a great or small matter. 
Now, this may seem like a small matter, but shit, this right here, these are the type of tensions that we looking for to go ahead and get this World War III popping, you know? But um, verse 4 says, And Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of our Lord, our Savior, our King that's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemy, enemies. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of our Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one. There's no no letter J in Hebrew. There's a, the, the, you know, it wasn't calling um, our Lord no Jehovah, you know, and our King, you know, to come. They wasn't calling him Jesus, because the letter J was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, then you know they couldn't have been calling him that because the letter didn't exist. But you got these Christians out here that tell you that it don't matter what you call him, and hey, you better be calling on the right name. Those are the true names of the Father and Son, Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai. And you need to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And that's for you, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Latinos, Dominicans, you know, and, and, and you know, our people that look like the speckled bird, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Because all Israelites are not going to be just no dark-skinned people, man. We're, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's seed is everywhere, man. And we, and we look like different nations. But anyway, let's move on. Verse 5, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or we say a Mashiach, the anointed one, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we're hearing about wars and rumors of wars, man. Oh, um, and matter of fact, we've been hearing about, we've been hearing about nuclear war. You know, nuclear, a nukes, there's, look, never in, in history. Have you seen all these news stories that's, that, 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 and, and these, these, these men, these leaders of these countries talking about nuclear um, might, man? You used to hear about, yeah, we, you know, they got a squirmish over here, they going over here, they doing this, but now they talking about nuclear weapons, man. You never, never, never in history has it been talked about that much. So that lets you know that's another indicator that we're at the end of this thing, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Verse 7, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So what do you just see out here in um, California? Hell, damn hurricane and um, the earthquake. What did it do, though, bro? Okay, so lock you. Yeah, was chopping it up with the neighbor real quick. Well, let me get that uh, verse 7 back again. It says, For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. Well, I never did get it out anyway, Salakia. So <laughs> Let me start back up at six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So these things gotta happen. And so and as they're happening, we have to report on it to warn the flock. It says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So, like, oh, I did kind of go into a salaki. <laughs> kind of lost my little train of thought, kicking it with the neighbor. But anyway, as you can see, I think it was like two earthquakes out in California or whatever. Why did why the, um, the damn hurricane is coming? I mean, well, I, don't, I think it's, I think they lowered the category on it. So it's probably just like a tropical storm, but still, shit flooding, you know? So the Lord is, is, is doing a number on this place, man. And the U.S. is trash, man. <laughs> this place is trash. Look at Hawaii, man. People pissed about the Hawaii deal because here you go. Esau sending all your money over to Ukraine, fighting some damn wars, man. Constantly in somebody's goddamn business. But here you go. You got one of your, your you know, one of your states basically in turmoil. The people don't have no place to stay. They don't have no damn jobs no more. Then you got this guy, um, Joe Biden, talking about sending them $700 a piece. Like, man, that you ain't getting nothing with that over there. Not on that expensive-ass island. You see what I'm saying? So the, the priorities of this place is backwards. It's all war, war, war. That's all they think about. That's Esau, though, man. That's how we know. They, they, they got them Esau with that sword, man. Esau is out here treacherous with that sword, man. And these countries are starting to be like, oh, nah, 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 nah. We about to cut into your ass. Y'all about to cut that out. Now, y'all really want to get down? We can get down. They got the weapons to do so now. You see? So, so... What they say that they got that saying where um it's no fun when the rabbit got the gun. 
<laughs> hey, that's pretty much what's popping right now, man. But anyway, let me see here. That's a lock I can get. Let's go into the Apocrypha real quick again. Let's go into 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. Let's start there. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. He didn't say just measure the time. He said measure it diligently. How do we measure it? With these scriptures, these script, these news stories lining up with these scriptures. It says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, and that's what we're, we're witnessing right now, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seeing earthquakes there you go again with the earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shalt thou will understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning so it, we're, hey, we're, we're watching it play out we're watching it play out man the scriptures is actually playing out right before our very eyes these prophecies man is coming to pass man well let me get this too let's get that romans I know I quoted it, but let's just get it real quick. That Romans 13 and 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Look, man, they, they, on, they, on, they on, 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 on deck, man, with this, this MOTB, that C-hip, that, that mark of the beauty and the beast. That's one of your major prophecies, man, that's coming to pass right before our eyes. Man, we're seeing stories uh, every single day on, on, on shit like that, man. Matter of fact, the, the, um, the brother Shopper, he done that lesson on um, they putting damn microchips in the cheese wheels. So when you're eating Parmesan cheese, you can, you know, you can be eating microchips. Because they, they claiming that, you know, that, you know, I guess people are bootlegging their cheese and, you know, to make it make you know that it's authentic and from them. They're putting microchips in the fucking cheese, man. Who the hell about to eat some cheese and swallow a damn chip? You know what I mean? Come on, bro. That shit can probably enter your damn bloodstream, uh, connect with your damn body, and never even flush out, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why we do lessons like that, you know? I done a post on it. I didn't do a lesson on it. But, you know, I done a post on it. I mean, because, you know, a post can can do a lot of damage you know what i'm saying because you can go you, a person might see a post and they're like oh shit you can actually go and google that story let's go google it and you can find out all the information that you want to know about it that's also warning that's that's a blowing of the trumpet man something as simple as a post because i know some brothers may not go out on the highways and byways to teach you know what i'm saying that may not be your area but still shit you can you got a youtube channel you can post man post these stories yeah Post that, post it, man, so our people can see and, and, and they can, you know, they'll post a scripture with it. Like I said, you, you know, don't necessarily have to be, you know, um, on camera or whatever, man, but it's nothing to, you know, post, post, because you get to post up to five um, photos now. Five photos. You can post a, a, a news clip of five different stories, man. And people going to go over there. They're going to slide through, you know, um, swipe, swipe right or swipe left, slack you. And they're going to see them post, man. That's, that, that's warning the flock. Anyway, let me get verse um, 12 again, or, or verse 12. It says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. And how do you do that? First off, you got to know those true names of the Father and Son. You have to know the true names of the Father and Son. Yahweh is the Father's name, the Most High, which means he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his Son is Yahweh Shai. Which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. So you have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And come out of your works of darkness. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and straighten up best you can. You know, try and you know, keep these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. We're not gonna be perfect at this, you know what I'm saying? Until we get the new bodies, but you know, you still out of respect. You should be doing everything that you can to keep the, the commandments that we can keep. No? As you, you know, you're coming into this truth, if you're new to this truth, things that you learn as you're reading and studying, because you should be studying it and definitely um, reading on a day to day basis, man, and listening to these lessons. But as you see that something that's wrong, like, oh, I didn't know that that was a sin. So then you repent to the father in the name of his son, you know, and, and, and you turn from that and you just don't do that shit no more. That's what repentance is. 
This is not an everyday damn thing. Like, you know, you, you, you know, not nobody going, going to keep on telling you something over and over and over again. They looking like, well, damn, you know, as if you don't know, that's what white Jesus Christianity is into. You know, people get up every day and love, forgive me. And they doing the same shit they was doing yesterday. Why are you even asking? You're going to go right back and do what you was doing anyway. Stupid, man. But that's Christianity for you. But I just wanted to touch on this article, man. I thought it was beautiful. And I love going off into these comments to see um, what these damn Edomites are going to say. Because these Edomites are, um, you know, they're pissed, man. And they're, they're really pissed with, um, you know, the Democratic side of this thing. Them damn Joe Biden. Now they're about to, you know, uh, mugshot Trump ass. Ain't no telling what might happen with that. That might send this thing all the way into uproars of the people or insurrection man because these so-called white people man they hate you damn negroes because they feel like you're the ones that's voting democrat and you are you're voting democrat they're they looking at you like you're the you're the fuck up of the country <laughs> so you gotta beware even being out in public you know what i'm saying man when this new election come around man these motherfuckers these crackers gonna be going crazy man so you know keep keep your head on the swivel um, walk circumspectly. Matter of fact, I can end out with that. It's a beautiful uh, scripture too. All the scriptures are beautiful though. Um, Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time. There's that word time again. Because the days are evil. See? And another thing that the Lord mentioned too in um, Matthew 24. As far as the end days when the disciples asked him what would be happening. Um, just before his coming, he says that um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And you're seeing all that. All the prophecies are playing out, man, right before our very eyes. You have to know that we're, we're right at the door. I mean, this thing is, is, is moving really, really fast, man. So don't don't play no games, man. You know, make haste to get to the Lord, man. It's repent, you know. Get off into these scriptures, man. Switch up, change up, man. You gotta, you know, make make them them, you know, them them changes, man. You know. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shola.